Hey everybody, it's Max with PhoneArena.com and uh, Project Soli is a, a new initiative from uh, ATAP, uh, the gang of pirates at Google. And what this is, is about uh, gestures and where the user interface is, your hand. And I'm with Nick, he is with the machine learning uh, team. He basically teaches this radar emitter to understand distance, positioning, and helping the machines take the raw signal as displayed here on the left, all the way into a measurable component. So we'll show, you know, here's here's Nick's hand. Hi, Nick. So tell, tell us all about this and how you've been able to work this and uh, just this amazing technology. And, yeah, sure. You know. So what you're seeing here in the, on the left is our raw signal that we're getting from the sensor. Yeah. Uh, this is not a time series. It's actually a very rich signal that we get back from the sensor. From this, we do a lot of Fourier transforms and DSP to get this, which is the uh, range Doppler image, yep. which essentially shows you how you're moving in the space yep. and your different velocities. And they can track multiple objects. You have both your you hands there at the same objects. time. Yep. You can also see through different materials. Yep. So, for example, here, you can see that you can do the gestures over the sensor even with the resistor. Because this, this is radar, essentially. This is a 60 gigahertz uh, radar signal being emitted out of here, not FCC approved yet. <laughs> So, uh, so we go from the Doppler image uh, there, and then it goes into how you can measure distance. Yeah, so we've yeah. got the range Doppler image, and from this we extract a number of other signals. For example, the third graph here shows you the, the motion, yep. and it can track multiple objects. And the last graph is the estimated distance. Yep. So if we actually zoomed in on this graph, we would see very precise movements. And from this, we take this information and a lot of others, and we feed this into machine learning algorithms so right. that we can actually extract very specific gestures from the signal. Right. So these can be larger gestures like swipes, yep. but also much more precise gestures as Ivan was showing in the talk. Yep. So we can do so, scrolls, yep. clicks, and these type of things. Exactly. So pretty impressive stuff. And there's already a uh, designed kit in the works to make available to developers um, as well as an SDK later this year. That's our hope. We're working yeah, yeah. on an SDK which yeah. is going to give developers access to the raw data itself yeah. and all of the machine learning based on top of it so they can build their own yeah. full gesture applications. So really what this does is this eliminates you know, the need for worrying about what to do with screen space necessarily in a user interface environment where the tool can be your hand and the phone or the watch can stay where it's at or if you got part of a, a project to card with the fabric going on here. Um, we're going to be walking user experiences, basically. <laughs> Keep checking back with us more from uh, Google I.O. in San Francisco. Uh, this is Project Soli, and uh, pretty neat uh, radar experience here, which uh, takes uh, machine learning to a whole new level and uh, makes us the, uh, the user experience. This is Max with Phone Arena. We'll be back with more from Google I.O. in San Francisco.